Welcome to a League of Augsburg Flypast. The subject for this short primer video is wargaming with the Capicolari or household infantry of the Ottoman Empire in the late 17th century. Known in English as Janissaries and in Turkish as Yeni Cherala, these disciplined troops formed the backbone of the regular army. The name means new soldier. They were recruited from Christian slaves forcibly converted to Islam and trained from an early age in a militaristic way of life. The Ottoman army of this period gets a poor reputation when compared with its earlier achievements, but this is pretty lazy Western thinking. They often fought extremely well and were conspicuous in various campaigns. As late as 1695, two and a half thousand Janissaries held off ten times the number during the aborted Russian siege of Azov. Yenicheri units were well organised, equipped, disciplined and trained. Between 1654 and 1711, there were on average 50,000 Yenicheri in the corps at any time, making it larger than most European armies. Man for man, Ottoman infantry were likely to be better shots than their Western counterparts, as they performed frequent firing practice, unlike most Western forces. Individual weapon competency was a prerequisite of the corps, which trained its men from childhood. Yenicherilar were organised in units called Ortas, which does not translate, but could equate to a unit between 50 and 500 men strong. There seems to have been no specific minimum number of men specified for each orta. A wargaming unit could therefore represent a large orta or several small orta's combined. The Yenicheri equivalent of regimental colours was the soup cauldron, which was often carried with the orta and protected to the death. The core was built around the hearth, with food and kitchens playing a prominent part in rank nomenclature, such as Chorbachi, the soup maker who commanded an orta, and Ashi Ushta, master cook who held an NCO rank. The traditional wargaming view of Yenicheri is of a fierce looking shaven headed mustachioed warrior in a tall white hat and long flowing robes. Although these ceremonial clothes were worn, Yenicherala were far more practically dressed on campaign. Consider these images and notice the close resemblance to the Ottoman infantry in the Dardanelles during the Great War. Loose cut, comfortable and practical clothes, caps and light equipment. A very modern look. The empire was not on the defensive during the period. The campaigns against the Habsburgs and Poland in the 1680s took the army to the walls of Vienna. It campaigned in the Balkans and all over the Ionian Islands during the Morean Wars. In Greece, where the terrain was not well suited to cavalry, infantry played a major role, often being transported along the coastline in galleys and transports as an amphibious marine corps. There were numerous sieges and assaults and fortifications. They fought the Venetians, various imperial troops including Austrians, Saxons, Brandenburgers and Bavarians. They fought the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth and of course the Russians. During 1713 they even skirmished with their house guests the Swedes at Benda. On the tabletop organise your Yenicherilar in units of 12 to 18 models if you're using beneath the lily banners. Set the quality level at Drill Delete and upgrade half of your units to Veteran. In the campaign dress units I often use 5 models per base rather than the six, to give a different look. Like many Ottoman troops of the period, there appears to have been no specific uniform cut or colour specified for Capicolari units, but in full dress, it does look nice to have most of the models in the same shade. By the late 17th century, the empire had altered its proportions of infantry to cavalry significantly, with cheaper foot soldiers forming half or more of most field armies. This gives plenty of scope for a sizable contingent of Yenicheri units, even if quality has diminished somewhat from the golden years of the 15th century. If you've enjoyed this, drop back for another fly past, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Till next time.